what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing lagging or freezing issue you're currently having with Elden ring so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am <sighs> especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work in youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is going to be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen you're going to right click your taskbar and open up your task manager just simply use your shortcut you're going to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're going to click on two processes just to ensure that you're sticking around it afterwards i want you to end every single task which has obviously nothing to do with winners and i know guys it's going to sound weird but trust me it will help you a lot let me explain that so two reasons for that first of all too many applications too many programs too many whatever running at the same time in a low end or bad pc will cause crashing lagging or freezing long term the second reason, like it was for me, there are some applications, some background processes, don't ask me why, which are currently third part in your game, causing it to crash or to freeze in some way. And uh, you're avoiding this issue and helping you a lot by just simply ending every single task, which is obviously nothing to do with Windows. Once you finish with that, I want you to end the task manager again. And afterwards, you need to search an empty spot on your desktop and you're going to right click and hit display settings. Once you're at display settings, you're going to stick around display and the first step is going to be to identify what your main monitor is. So you're going to hit, uh, obviously this just applies if you have more than one. So just hit the main monitor, scroll down to scale and layout. We want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution should be the same as in game. So for example, if you have an in game 1720 by 1070, I will also want you to apply this to your display resolution. Once you're finished with that, simply end this task. And afterwards, I want you to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen. You're going to left click, hit settings, hit update and security, and stick around Windows Update, where I want you to uh, download the every single browser or browser <laughs> driver. I'm sorry, guys. You could possibly download at the moment. So updates, basically, just start with Windows, clicking on to check for updates. Afterwards, hit end task. And uh, yeah. Afterwards, do the same thing with your graphics card. So hit that and uh, just go to your application, go to the browser and download the latest version of that just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, I guess I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.